Engineering is uh, design and uh, creation of solutions for real-world problems. Using what you know and your creativity to solve those problems in ways that you know people haven't thought of before. Um, so it's being innovative in problem solving. Engineers uh, basically take the knowledge about like physical properties, all the science backgrounds, and they use that to design and build systems and check systems that make our lives just easier. Electrical engineering basically deals with um, the study of electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism, transmitting power um, and distributing it. Um, there's several different ways in which you can do it. You can do it by solar panels, you can do it by a wind turbine, you can do it uh, by our generation, which will be uh, diesel generators or the gas generators. And there's several other ways you can do it. Mechanical engineering is basically the transformation of one source of energy to another. For example, here at Belco, we take chemical energy, which is fuel, and we burn it in the engines and convert it to mechanical energy, which is then converted to electrical energy. Mechanical engineers do anything from manufacturing to heating, ventilation, air conditioning to running power plants, uh, anything that really has to do with forms of energy. Engineers analyze problems and uh, go about solving those specific problems and develop the best you know, the best means to to solve those those issues. I'm an electrical engineer and uh, we create electrical systems, power systems, radio systems. I'm studying mechanical engineering so that involves a lot of uh, building and designing and fixing of machines. Engineering is interesting to me because I I, I like to look outside the box. I like to look at things from a different perspective. There's an endless number of challenges and problems out there that you can be working on, and even when you find an answer, it might not be the best answer, even though it's right. So there's always a challenge available for you. The most interesting part is knowing how things work and knowing why they work. Um, also figuring out new ways to manipulate energy forms and create something new. You have a freedom and creativity to develop, you know, your specific solution to something because there's not, you know, one correct answer. There's there's many ways to go about doing one thing. Just seeing how the background behind everything that we take for granted, like electrical systems, under underground sewage systems, built how buildings stand up. It's all it's interesting to see why those things happen and why they you know, actually work. It's quite interesting to um, actually to actually see something done in, in pen and paper and to actually do it in, an app, in a practical application. For the math fields as well as the physics fields, um, those are extremely important for engineering. Um, they sort of design the concepts or the concepts come out of physics and math helps um, to be able to create those problems and create solutions. All the dots lined up, I used to take all my toys apart, I used to strip bikes down just to figure out how they worked, um, I used to take sound systems apart just for fun. I started off um, doing electrical technology and I figured it, well it wasn't a challenging enough career for me and I always wanted to become an engineer. I also really enjoyed a challenge and forcing myself to think outside of the box and I think to me that's what engineers really do. I chose engineering because I was good at math and science um, and I also wanted to design and create solutions for problems that are within a company so uh, problems within systems like the electrical system um, and that's what I gravitated more towards. I wanted to make a difference in, in, in the world today and I didn't want you know the, the normal desk job I will kind of want to be out there in the field and make and you know make a change in the world that you couldn't do in, in a normal job.